Here we are on the North Shore of Maui at Maliko Gulch. You may know it as the epicenter of the downwinder. Many an athlete has made his name here. But what you don't know is there's a rich history behind this valley that sits inside of the gulch. Unfortunately, for the last hundred years, it's been used as a dump. But we now have the opportunity to clean it up, to regenerate it, to prove to others, perhaps with some of the models we put forward, that regenerative agriculture is the way to go. That we can move towards the future, regenerate the land, and make it able to serve its environment, the ecosystem, the community, and the culture that exists around it. So if there's one thing that I have learned when it comes to wanting to clean something up, this is about doing the right thing and taking care of our environment. The only way to handle it is to set forward with examples of how to do it the right way, a way that works, a way that serves, serves us, serves the community, serves the environment. And if we can move forward with partnerships with other farmers, then we all realize that the rising tide floats all the boats. The idea of us all being able to work together, that's what it's about. It's about building community. It's about seeing other farmers around you that are adjacent to you and perhaps letting your knowledge rub off on each other. That's the way it's been for centuries. So we support anybody that wants to be farming. We're friends with people. You don't have to put someone on the chopping block and make them the villain when their intention is to do something good. So how do we move forward with example and clean this valley and show others what we can do with everyone coming together with good intention and hard work and the, the goal and the intention of regenerating. So why are we here and what are we doing? We're here to make it bloom. We're here to help it live up to its name and we're uh, to show that with a little bit of dedication and time and good intention that we can clean it up and we can regenerate it where it can serve the ecosystem and it can serve the community around it once again. And I'm trying to make my approach, I'm probably fairly pessimistic just like you are, um, but I'm trying to rely on solutions rather than pointing out the doom and the gloom so much, which is obviously pointed out everywhere around us, but that idea of trying to focus on some solution. And that's why I've gotten into agriculture with our Patagonia provisions and also, you know, we're, we're doing a bunch with uh, breadfruit. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're coming out with a breadfruit cracker and uh, working on a breadfruit tortilla. I wrote a cookbook, A Hundred Ways to Make Ulu. My CEO is doing a lot of work with trying to establish a, um, a regenerative organic certification. Deal. But if we could get that established, it'll change agriculture. And we'll grow more food, we'll stop destroying, in fact, we'll grow topsoil and um, we'll capture carbon. I think that's awesome. <laughs>